Let us try to understand Ken Blanchard Situational Leadership 2. Here, basically, team members can be categorized into D1, D2, D3, and D4. So that is a continuum from developing to developed. So D1 is the enthusiastic beginner, maybe a fresher joining the team directly from the campus uh, can be an example for enthusiastic beginner. Then comes the dissolution learner. So he try to study something, training programs he attended. Uh, maybe slightly dissolution because he could not implement many of those things. Uh, so he becomes a dissolution learner. Then D3 is the capable but cautious professional. And D4 is the self-reliant achiever. So as a manager or as a leader, <clears throat> we cannot have one style, one single style uh, for all these people. For D1, that is the enthusiastic beginner, the best approach would be directing. We have to literally tell him how to do things. Maybe we are talking about micromanagement, uh, that is for D1, that is the enthusiastic beginner, that is the right fit. Then for D2, that is the dissolution learner, coaching is the, is the, is the right approach. So it is a kind of an on-the-job on the job coaching. When he really does the work, you work along with him and tell him exactly you know, how to do things so that he can create some wins and his disillusion, disillusionment will vanish and he can move on to the next stage. Then supporting, uh, that is for the D3, that is capable but cautious. So we can see this uh, uh, experienced people, highly capable, but they are very cautious to take risk. Uh, so that is there as a as a leader. We need to support them to take risk. Uh, if you when we when we look at agile project management in self organizing team, uh, risk taking is encouraged, but very often people don't take risk because uh, the organizational climate is not conducive for risk taking. So if I take an aggressive, if a professional or a team member take an aggressive target and if he fails, the organization should not punish him for that. That should not be, you know, considered as a negative thing when we do his next performance appraisal. Uh, in those kind of scenarios, people can become very cautious. Even if they have the capability, they will not uh, take risk. In such situations, the best approach would be supporting. We have to literally tell them that you take this risk, even if you fail after trying your level best, it is okay kind of thing. That is the supporting style by the leader. Then we have D4, that is the self-reliant achiever. They are very senior people, they are highly capable. Uh, you know that okay, they can do things, they are almost equal as you. Uh, so, uh, they are self-reliant achievers. Uh, the best approach there would be uh, delegating. Uh, so depending on the position of the team member or stakeholder, uh, the, the leader should switch from directing to coaching to supporting, to delegating. So that is the essence of Ken Blanchard uh, situational leadership too. Thank you very much.